Okay, number six on my worst list. Uh, Artie fucking Lang. Uh, I don't know, is he a jizz comic? There should be a name for this. Um, degenerate comic? Uh, comic? Um, uh, shit living, uh, disgusting lifestyle comic? Even though it's not... Like most of the jizz comics, they talk about jizz and eating their own jizz and 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 what would jizz be taste like on crackers and these type of things but Artie Lang is on the list so that's going to be one of his number hey by the way you know sometimes you're amazed right to find out that other people think differently than you like uh, there's some kind of people if you tell them something they think you're challenging them uh, like you're trying to flex on them and you go, that's fucking weird. Like, this guy thinks everything's a challenge. Uh, I used to say it's, it always struck me as really weird that there was people around Halloween. Uh, like, I'm thinking of a neighbor that would just uh, put up things of, of people being murdered in horrible ways. And just spray blood and stick knives in the head of dummies. And I always thought, this is fucking weird. It's like, he doesn't... It's actually, it surprised me to find out there's people that they think that's exactly the same as perhaps uh, scary supernatural things, right? Because you're scared of having someone cut your throat open. So that's the same as being scared of perhaps a ghostly tale or uh, perhaps some sort of mythological creatures. Well, there's something that has, in a similar way, I'm really surprised to find out that there's a significant number of people that really find just describing really shitty, illegal, hedonistic, and garbage life, selfish, shit living as the same as comedy. They think that is funny. They, they Just like the, the Halloween guy that thinks like having a woman w with her head cut off and spraying fake blood out of it is exactly the same as having a werewolf picture you know, or a ghostly uh, picture on your front lawn. What if they're both scary? And then I found out there's like a lot of people that think Artie Lang is just so funny because he just describes like just shitty, degenerate, immoral, you know, garbage, selfish lifestyle, bottom of the barrel, dirt living, disgusting things right it's that that's weird right but you might not think that because that's what you you think that's just as funny as like a louis ck bit setting up uh, some kind of story about i you know with irony and a double back and uh, uh it's all the same to you right is there people like that listening because it's weird to me so Artie lang he goes on the list for a lot of uh i guess um uh, just uh, junky ditch uh, ditch living comedy which is going to count against him like jizz comedy yeah I don't know I don't get it either he, he's entire he was great on Howard Stern do you know what he would do is that every once in a while he'd just tell a story about a fucking horrible shit life that he did some disgusting things yeah yesterday uh, we got these fucking whores and we were fucking whores and then I did all this cocaine and then my buddy he started I swear to god I swear to god this is true get ready for the punchline and then I fucking vomited out the window and then the fucking whores I think they had VD or something and the next day we woke up and we and we were in the alley face down in our own piss Oh, fucking Artie Lang is so funny. So fun. Oh my God, that guy's funny. What the fuck? Um, anyway, why else is Artie Lang on this list? Oh yeah, okay. So I got a guest spot here. Uh, John Belushi. Uh, less people know who that is now because a lot of those boomers are dying off now. Uh, John Belushi was one of the first... I think he was one of the first guys on... Saturday Night Live. So that selfish boomer generation, there was something about John Belushi that 
he's a character actor who something about that character just grabbed the attention and the love of people of boomers everywhere that sort of hippie generation the thing is uh, John Belushi was pretty good I mean you got to give credit where it's due but he's gonna and I'm not putting him on the worst list why because he's pretty much strictly a comedy actor not a stand-up comedian uh, to my knowledge, he never did stand-up comedy that I know of. Um, he was a, a television comedy actor. Try to find a lot of those first, in, I think, first season Saturday Night Lives. Okay, because all you're going to know is John Belushi is just a goddamn legend, right? But the thing is, he does do some funny shit. Although I think a lot of that is... Uh, this is another thing that gets you on a worse list if you were cocaine, uh, you were drug reliant. So it was the drugs that were funny, uh, not not the comic. Uh, so he would kind of fit in there because that was a time too where people, maybe a lot of the audience didn't understand that that was cocaine that they were watching. So they just thought, wow, this guy's a great actor. He can do cartwheels on stage. He's so intense. He must, he's really trying to work to get the audience. But the thing is, a lot of that is you're applauding the cocaine chemicals. And I don't know if he could have done a lot of that without his artificial chemical crutch. Uh, so he's also a little bit on the worst list for that. But also, if you want to find uh, entire episodes of Saturday Night Live season one, uh, you go ahead and try to find them because they say Lorne Michaels really tries to keep those off the internet. Uh, some people say it's the only season you cannot find DVDs for, uh, like a full season DVD, or they stopped making them because a lot of them are really bad. It's really bad. Um, but you've got these golden moments like, we're the killer bees. Uh, I would say Aykroyd and Belushi those guys were good together uh, so they're you know again you're gonna find something good in there but man was there a lot of bad stuff and Belushi has been in a lot of just bummer comedy that wasn't that good but like I say one problem is he's got one character I'm a disgusting fat fuck who smokes and doesn't give a damn something about that grabbed people and he became like this iconic character actor uh so why did i bring him up oh yeah right because he died from a drug overdose because he was a junkie scumbag uh who loved uh, to give his selfish pleasures to himself <laughs> And there's a young man who's been doing some improv and school plays and joins a talent agency as a John Belushi impersonator, right? Which this is this was a funny thing, but I think this might still be popular where you, you could hire impersonators. I don't know, maybe you have some corporate gig and you could uh, hire people that look like Robert De Niro or something. Uh, so this fucking guy, Artie Lang, uh, a, a John Belushi impersonator, I think he did kind of strike gold because when Belushi died, there was still like this demand for that character in comedy. And, it, and there was something about it that was beloved by a lot of people. And also given some kind of peculiar serious weight, uh, some, kind of, some kind of respect. Like as if John Belushi was a, you know, some sort of a, you know, like a French auteur. Good for him, by the way. Uh, but then he's starting to just be John Belushi, which maybe that was what he should have done. Uh, just be John Belushi if he hadn't have died. Okay, so here's um, John Belushi if he hadn't have died. Uh, why else is Artie Lang... Why is he on the worst list? Oh, yeah, right, because, okay, first of all, that's kind of a gimmick act. Uh, he stole somebody's career. 
or just usurped John Belushi's career. So like Belushi was a selfish, self-loving, pleasing, hedonistic, uh, pleasure junkie that uh, fucking ruined people's lives, family lives. I mean, I guess people listening to Howard Stern think it's fucking hilarious how he describes, you know, his mother, uh, I fucking took a knife and I started stabbing myself in the fucking belly. And my mom's like, oh my God, I'll phone the ambulance. I guess the same people listening there are like, that guy's fucking hilarious. Did you believe the stuff he said? He said stuff about shitty, horrific living and dying in god-awful ways. Like in totally degenerate, mentally ill ways. So funny. Fucking hilarious. Okay, why else is... uh, Why else is Artie laying on this list? Wait a minute, we got... Okay, not... Oh, yeah, okay. So... He's getting jizz comic, although in his case, it's more like vomit. He's vomit comedy. He does a lot of vomit comedy. Um, He is a character actor, character comedian. Uh, But I don't think that, I don't know. Is he a gimmick? You know, at a certain point, it's so elaborate. uh, Usurping the life of John Belushi and playing it out for the world that I don't even know if I want to call it a gimmick. Uh, But he's going to go on the list for that anyway, just for fun. And what else is he on this list for? I wish I'd write this stuff down before I'd start talking. Oh yeah, Artie Lang's on there for being mediocre. He's also another one that's very... His stand-up isn't that good. Um, You know, at first I'd heard people saying, yeah, that's true. You know, on Stern, he just talks about how he was vomiting on himself. But actually, his stand-up's really fucking clever and really good. But it turns out it's not. Uh, Artie Lang is not a particularly good stand-up. And he's getting a a lot of grace for uh, perhaps being Artie Lang. Uh, He has also been on the list for... Oh, just being a shitty person. Right? I mean, uh, even if half his stories were not exaggerated, he's just ruined people's lives, made people very uncomfortable at, at, at best. He's made a lot of people around him extremely uncomfortable, anxious, worried. He's no help to anyone, becomes a, a dead weight and a problem to everyone around him, ruined the trust of people around him, and he uses them too with his second chances, third chances, fourth chance. He knows he's like a he's a junkie that's selfish. He's a self-gratifying junkie who knows that he's gonna get second and third and fourth chances. Uh, I, I suppose there's judges that think that they've got John Belushi is in their courtroom. And they think, man, wasn't that guy like a really highly respected uh, comedic author from France? So, uh, or Italy. So, uh, anyway, they give him a second chance. No, fifth, sixth, tenth, hundredth chance. And he will use that so that he can get out and then go and do more drugs. Yeah, he's not that good. He is just not very good, but he's highly overrated. Yeah, so then, yesterday... Hi, hey, guys, I got a tell you a story for you. I was, uh, we were at this casino and, uh... I, uh, I fucking, uh, first of all, I threw up all over the table. And these, this hooker that I was with was, like, so disgusted by it. And I was, like, vomiting all over the table. And then that's when they kicked me out. And I was like, well, fuck that. So I went to this hotel. And me and this whore, we did drugs. And, uh, then the next day I woke up and I was in my own piss and vomit. Uh,